a day for emotional goodbyes and the final day of a Premier League season of polar opposites for Chelsea and for Sunderland. The Blues champions with two games to spare prepare for their coronation as Kings of England once again. The Black Cats, whose relegation was confirmed a full three weeks ago, play their final top flight game for at least nine months. John Terry captains the side on his 345th and final appearance in blue on this ground. Well, the 2016-17 campaign has been a glorious one for Chelsea. In less than a week, they'll have the chance to complete the double for only the second time in the club's history. But today is all about ending a wonderful league campaign in style and giving a fitting send-off to the captain, leader and legend. And Antonio Conte's team are ten points clear of their nearest challengers, aiming to become the first side in Premier League history to win 30 times in a 38-game season. And one of two. It is Larson straight into the wall, but it's going to drop nicely here for Manquillo, who puts Sunderland ahead. Extraordinary. Three minutes gone, and it's the bottom side who lead against the champions. Well, this is pretty similar in range and position on the pitch from where Alonso scored at Bournemouth a few weeks ago, isn't it? But, as you say, really a pretty handy from these kind of situations too. It's Alonso! Oh, it's off the bar! Terrific effort, danger not passed yet for Sunderland. Costa. Alonso with his right foot into a thicket of players. Hazard. Costa looking for room for a shot, there isn't any. Alonso again. And Costa and David Luiz, or maybe Terry. How about William? 1 1. Chelsea back on terms in no time at all. William's best ever return in terms of goals in a season in blue. That's his 12. And Sunderland's lead didn't last very long. Didn't we keep the pressure on really well? Sutherland in so deep. Pickford's got no chance with the final effort. And you ask players sometimes to just strike the ball sweetly. Don't try and smash it. But he's made absolutely terrific contact with this. And that gives him the power. Yeah, and you have to say they're ridiculously deep, Sutherland. They've got no option at the moment. They're trying so hard to keep us pushed out, to keep their team pushed out and allow a little bit of room for Jordan Pickford. But it's going to be relentless. Alonso's going to have a go here, good save from Pickford, got really good distance on it too. Fabregas back in, Costa knew he was offside so left it. We like to think at times there's going to be better opportunities for us, that shot a little bit close to him, makes a save look reasonably comfortable. Now David Luiz hasn't scored here for years, he's not going to get many better opportunities than today. Well, it's a long way out but he's got the capability. Fooled us all, cost oh. around the back, probably should have scored. Should have done, should have scored, he's in a great position. What a lovely flighted ball, everybody expecting David Luiz to go for the shot. And he's onside as well. Hazard, thought about having a go from range, gave it to Moses instead. Bounced off Lescott, and luckily for him, straight through to Pickford. Yeah, deflected first to him and then off Lescott. And a bit of luck again for Pickford because that could have gone anywhere. I just think we need to be a bit more patient with our passing through midfield. I think our pressure, pressure on them would count. You know, if we put pressure on them, I think they will leave gaps, and we will, we will then find those opportunities. Let's have a problem though for Billy Jones. Well, this is going to be a very special moment indeed. Similar sort of thing happened with Didier Drogba here a couple of years ago, didn't it? He played half an hour on his last appearance here. Well, John Terry, an even bigger figure in the history of this football club. 345 games he's played on this ground. He's won everything there is to win. He's led the club in a way that few could have imagined possible and that none will surely ever be able to match. Stamford Bridge rises to its feet one last time to acclaim the captain, the leader and the legend, John Terry makes his exit. Well, there's too, not enough superlatives, is there, to describe his career that John Terry has had at the football club. Absolutely outstanding. 
and really does deserve the standing ovation. And even the Sunderland fans have given him a cheer. And a guard of honour from the Chelsea players as well, obviously. Something that he will cherish for the rest of his life. And, and you know, I can't say enough about him. He's been magnificent. It's going to be worked again here, maybe. It's William. Looking to guide one into the corner. Little nick on that, I fancy, took it behind. Not sure Pickford was getting there otherwise. All square between the top team and the bottom team in the Premier League. John Terry, really the headline act of a first half which saw Sunderland go in front after just a couple of minutes through Javi Manquillo. But William quickly had Chelsea back on terms. Two goals in the opening ten minutes, none since. At the break at the bridge, it's Chelsea one, Sunderland one. Played for an hour now. No further goals after that William equaliser in the eighth minute. Maybe there'll be one now for Hazard. Heading Hazard! <laughs> Sensational. Unstoppable. World class. Edin Hazard, take a bow. Oh, that's what he's all about, isn't it? How good is that? Last game of the season in the Premier League. For one of our best, best players in the recent times to fire a shot across the bowels of Jordan Pickford as sweetly and as crisply as he strikes this with immense power. The timing is absolutely perfect. I mean, it wasn't the best ball to Diego Costa. I'm not sure it was meant for him initially, but he helps out to Hazard. The touch that takes it wide probably wasn't the best touch either. This last touch here takes him away from goal. And you think, how can he score from there? But score he does. What a strike. Michael Gas from range, looking for Pedro through the middle. Lescott's got that all wrong. And Pedro says thank you very much and puts the cherry on top of the cake. Pedro Rodriguez is lucky 13th of the season. Just about stays on side for me, but it's his pace that gets him beyond Lescott. Fed, Pedro takes full advantage, and in the end, a simple tapping. Poor clearance, straight to Pedro. Oh, lovely ball for Bashwahi! He's scored again. He is loving life in the Premier League at the moment, Nishi Bashuai. What an end to the season for him. And another goal to cap off the afternoon for the Blues. It's 4-1. Does well, Pedro times his run back to, to perfection. And just slide rule pass that he finishes it. Superb. It's been a quite sure he's going to join that elite club who've played every minute in their Premier League winning team. Obergast scooper, Bachwahi surely going to be flagged offside. No, he's not. He's amazed. Bachwahi! Oh, oh, wow! How about that from Mishi Bachwahi? That's the way to end a season. A glorious goal. Well, it certainly is, isn't it? I mean, it's a wonderfully taken goal. You have to save suddenly, maybe right off the pace right now but you can understand but the ball still needs to be delivered into the back of the net and Batshuayi has certainly done that wasn't sure if he was offside I think the Rhinesman may have made a slight error here but doesn't he finish it well just drags it onto his left foot and that's a calm comfortable accurate finish and how fitting is that the last kick of a ball in the Premier League season for the champions was a goal They've beaten Sunderland here by five goals to one. John Terry's farewell at Stamford Bridge. And now he can enjoy receiving the Premier League trophy. Clive, that was a great way to end the season. Well, we were looking for it, Matt. We were certainly thinking that today could be you know, party atmosphere, party day, and the team playing at the top, top level. Antonio Conti had just been given the ice bucket. <laughs> Absolutely soaked. I don't think that'll bother him too much. But it's been a wonderful day. Sunderland have played their part, to be fair, having been relegated. Never good enough on the day. Chelsea bought by far the better side and showed it in the end with the goals. Performance fit for champions. Chelsea have beaten Sunderland by five goals to one.